this is Alex from Mr. Retro Central and I've just got here today Unity and I'm just going to be showing you how to install the Android SDK and how to actually install a few of the things you need to install to get your game published. Okay, so first um, you should have Unity open. Uh, you want to make sure that in the build settings it's set to Android. Uh, and up here in uh, Edit and down to Preferences, you'll see in External Tools that you'll need to point to the Android SDK location. Now, of course, I uninstalled it for the purpose of this video, so you won't be able to see it here. Um, so what we're going to need to do is go uh, download it. So we just hit up Google, Android SDK. And as you can see, it uh, points you mainly to the one you need to go to anyway, but if you want to download for another operating system, you can. Um, I believe it does support um, uh, Mac as well. And I'm pretty sure it supports Linux. So it's just download for Windows. I find it a lot easier if you just download the studio and not just the SDK. So uh, I'll get back to you when this is done. All right, so we're back. Uh, it's finished downloading and um, just close this. Just boot it up. I right, just hit next, agree. Uh, just use the recommended. I don't really use the emulator within uh, the Android Studio, so it doesn't really matter. Just let it install. Okay, so now it's done. Just click next. It should boot up the Android Studio. Um. Just I, if it's a fresh install, just do that one. I do not have a previous version of Studio, nor do I want to import my settings. This is just going to download um, the archives and stuff for the SDK. This here, where it says. C uses Alex app data local Android SDK one. Yours may not say SDK one. Yours may say probably just SDK because probably because I've installed it before. But this is going to be your SDK path. So it's wise that you remember it or copy it now. As you can see up here, it says uh, downloading SDK platform Android 6.0 and the API 23 revision 2. I'll explain these in a minute. Sometimes your antivirus can block the SDK install. As you saw just there, I just fixed it just by disabling it temporarily. Okay, so once you're in here, um, you can. This is the Android Studio, but we don't, we don't really need it. So we just go configure, go to SDK Manager, and launch standalone SDK Manager. We can close this now and this. I don't know why I booted up multiple copies of it. Okay, so the tools. You can see here the Android SDK tools, the Android SDK build tools, uh, SDK platform tools. Okay, so these are the actual the build tools that you'll need to actually build a project or to compile a project. So as you can see here, like this is the, the revisions. This is for the actual the operating system version, so Android 6.0. As you can see, SDK platform installed for it. Um, you don't really need to do the older ones. You can if you want to, but the newer ones usually contain the older ones. So 
here in extras is actually very important. Um, as you can see, Google Play services. If you want to use Google Play services in your games, like leaderboards or stuff like that, then you would do that. So yeah, you can just install, update. So we've got some packages here that aren't installed yet. So you just accept the license. As you can see, I put Google Play services in there. And it's just gonna download and run. Now while this is doing this, go into Unity, uh, you can back to Edit, Preferences, External Tools, and I'm not sure if we copied it, no we didn't, okay, so, see, Users, Alex, App Data, Local, Android, SDK 1, Select Folder. That, now that's done. Now when you go to build, you will actually use, it won't give errors. If you're trying to build and it gives you errors because um, you've now got the SDK pointed in the right path. So if you wanna add any more stuff, like if you wanna add um, like Google repository, I'll explain uh, this in another video along with uh, some other stuff. Um, but yeah, if you wanna install some, some other plugins and stuff like that or yeah, this is pretty much how you do it with the SDK manager. Or if you find this revision is a bit buggy, which shouldn't really be an issue, but I find sometimes with projects, they can be buggy, so I revert down to a, a lower revision, like a you know 21 or something, or example. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, I'm Alex from Mr. Retro Central, and thanks for watching.